All right, guys, in this video, we'll be looking at a postulate called the ruler postulate. And it says that points on a line can be paired with a real number, and the distance between the points can be found by finding the absolute value of the difference between these numbers. Now, I know that may sound a little complicated, but let's see if we can break it down and make some sense. So first of all, it says that points on a line can be paired with a real number. So you'll notice here I have a number line. And on this number line, I've got the points A, B, C, and D. I've got point A, I've got point B, I've got point C, and I've got point D. So the first part says that points on a line can be paired with a real number. So notice that point A is paired with the real number negative 3. Point B is paired with the real number negative 1. Point C is paired with the real number 1. And point D is paired with the number 2. So, that's what the first part is saying. Each one of these points is paired with a real number. Negative 3, negative 1, 1, and 2 are the specific real numbers that we're talking about in this case. Now, it says the distance between the points can be found by finding the absolute value of the difference between these numbers. So, for example, if I want to find the distance between point A and point B, it says we can find this by taking the absolute value of the difference between these two numbers. So if I subtract negative 3, because that's what point A is paired with, and subtract point B, which is negative 1, if I subtract a negative 3 minus a negative 1, I end up with a negative 2. However, it says that we're going to take the absolute value of that. So if I take the absolute value of a negative 2, I end up with a positive 2. So we just found the distance between point A and point B. We know the distance between point A and point B is 2 units. Notice here we got 1, 2. So again, when we're talking distance, distance is always going to be a positive value. Let's try one a little different here. Let's try the distance between point A and point C. So remember, it says here that we're going to take the absolute value of the difference between the numbers. So I'm going to take the absolute value of the difference between A and C. A is negative 3. Difference means we're going to subtract. Point C is positive 1. So let's see here. Negative 3 minus 1 would be a negative 4 but we are going to take the absolute value of that negative 4, and the absolute value of negative 4 would be a positive 4. So in other words, the distance between point A and point C is going to be 4 units. Notice here we've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. So again, the difference between, or the absolute value of the difference between these numbers is how we come up with that difference. So again, this is called the ruler postulate. All right, we can also use this uh, ruler postulate in order to find the coordinate of a segment's endpoint given the other endpoint and given the segment's length. So let's look at an example here. If we have the line AB and it has a length of 12 and B has a coordinate of 5, we're going to find point a using this ruler postulate. Alright, so here's what we know. We have a point B on this line and that point B is located at the coordinate 5. Now we also know there's another point A. Problem is we don't know if that point A is over here to the left or if it's over here to the right. So we're going to go ahead and find both of those. Now, it does tell us that the line segment, or the line, uh, AB, has a length of 12. So, in other words, this distance right here, let me do it in a different color, this distance right here is 12 units. This distance right here is also 12 units. So, if we know that distance is 12 units, we should be able to find the coordinates of these two points, A. So, I'm going to go ahead and find this one first. Now, if I'm at 5 right now, and then I'm going 12 units to the right, all I'm going to do is take that 5, add 12 units, 
and I end up with a 17. So point A over here should be at 17. But what if I go in the opposite direction? What if I go 12 units to the left? So again, started at 5. But this time I'm moving to the left, so this time I'm going to subtract 12. So I've got 5 minus 12, and if I subtract 5 minus 12, I end up with a negative 7. So this point over here would be at negative 7. And we can do that because we know that point B is located at the coordinate 5, and we, all know, we also know the length is 12 units. So we can either add 12 or subtract 12 from B. So this is how I found these two points here.